Oh hi. Somalia. The East African state. As a result of civil war and activity of separatists of Somalia for a long time actually stopped the existence as the state and broke up to a set of parts. In 2012 the Constitutional Assembly in Mogadishu adopted the temporary constitution defining Somalia as federation. A member of the Union since September 20, 1960. The toponym of Somalia relating both to the state and to the peninsula of the same name by the available estimates goes back to an ethnonym of Somalia, the name of the main ethnic group of the population of the country. The ethnonym comes probably from the Arab ethnonym. Roots of the most part of the population from the Arab tribes. Country relief mainly flat. In the north and two entree rios of Juba and Vabi Shabali the plate is 500-1500 m high put generally by sandstones and limestones prevail. In decreases on the plateau, Baleka, rainwater accumulates, for a long time they are sources of drinking water. Plateas are divided by superficial, wide valleys. Nogal, Dara and others on which there are roads and caravan tracks connecting internal areas with the coast. The northern region of the plateau is cut by deep gorges. The tower mount Yasinchelli Mijutina. The highest point minus 2406M, the mountain Saradad. In the north and the southeast of the Somalia plateau are bordered with lowlands. Because of an arid climate and big water tightness of breeds of the plateau are waterless that interferes with development of agriculture and emergence of constant settlements. For a long time it is the field of mainly nomadic cattle breeding. Subsoil of Somalia is investigated poorly. Fields of plaster near Berbera and table salt, Hordeo and Jezer, are known. To entre rios of Juba and Vabi Shabali there are fields of ore minerals, iron ore and also aranotarium ores in the area the Drell Akaba and aranovanadium ores in Mujij. Near Mogadishu reserves of oil and gas, and in the south of Somalia, titanic ores were in the early 80s found. Climate of Somalia dry and hot. Temperature in the winter plus 23. Plus 24 C, summer from plus 26 to plus 34 C. In a year on the main part of the territory of Somalia only 200, 300 m of rainfall. In the southwest there are about 600 m. Drop out. From the rivers of the country only Juba and Vabi Shabli don't dry up. In the valleys and to Entre Rios the main masses of the cultivated lands are concentrated. Nearly 90% of the territory of Somalia are occupied with extensive cereal and shrubby semi-deserts and dry savannas. In a grass cover long-term herbs prevail. Among bushes, an acacia and a tomarexa, there are a lot of also candelabrubidni euphorbias. The woods aren't enough. These are narrow strips of the gallery woods along the lower current of Chuba and Vebishebli, with 20 meter ficuses, gambages, acacias, palm trees. Thoughts and date. The fauna of Somalia is very various. Different types of antelopes and also zebras, giraffes, buffalo s and different predators, lions, leopards, hyenas, jackals are found in savannas and semi-deserts. 
elephants, rhinoceroses, warthogs, a great number of monkeys live in coastal thickets of river valleys. Hippopotamuses and crocodiles are found in the rivers. It is a lot of birds, reptiles and various insects. Coastal sea waters of Somalia are rich with fish and shrimps. Since the middle of the 3 millennium BB to the coast of northern Somalia. Called by then country punt. The Egyptians who were taking out from their gold, fragrant pitches, wooden slaves made swimmings. Trying to establish the domination here, governors of Egypt raised children of the local nobility at the yard. In the 3rd century BB in the north of Somalia Greeks and Egyptians, citizens told me based the trading stations. They were engaged except other in catching and sending to Egypt elephants. At the time the main population of Somalia was made by nomads cattle farmers, but on the coast of Gulf of Aden there were already port settlements which were operated by local princes. In the I-2 centuries and the population of the coast of northern Somalia through ports Avalit, Molao, or Pona did business the Roman Empire, the southern Arabia, India. From Somalia fragrant pitches, spices, ivory, armors of turtles were taken out, slaves and craft products and food products were imported. During blossoming of the Aksum Kingdom. Ancient Ethiopia, the 4th-6th century ad. Under his power in northern part of Somalia gets there is an important port sailor. To the east of present Djibouti. With the decline of influence of Aksum in the north of Somalia there is the early state education Berbera and the union of the tribes of Havia. Semi-settled farmers, cattle farmers and also nomads entered them. In the 12th, 13th centuries in the territory of Somalia Islam though which didn't completely force out local cults extends. In the 12th, 16th centuries in the territory of modern Somalia periodically there were sultanates which quickly broke up. In the 14th, 15th centuries there were continuous wars of Muslim sultanates of Somalia against the Christian Ethiopian Empire. The first mention of an ethnonym of Somalia appears in the Amharic Song of the beginning of the 15th century, in honor of a victory of the Ethiopian Emperor Yiskok. In 1499 coast of Somalia had Portuguese ships under Vasco da Gama's command. Portuguese occupied the Somali cities, Mogadishu in 1499, Peru in 1506, Zelu in 1517. As a result Portuguese subordinated to themselves all coast of Somalia. However Portuguese were opposed by the Egyptian Mamelukes and Ottomans using support of local Somalis. On side of Portugal fight was entered by Ethiopia. In 1530-1559 in the territory of Somalia there was a bloody and devastating war between Somalis, Mamelukes and Ottomans against Ethiopians and Portuguese. As a result Ethiopia won, and the Somali tribes broke up to the small unions which were at war among themselves. As a result of internal wars the population of the Somali cities sharply decreased. Some cities in general were left. Zela in the 17th century passed under the power of the Ottoman Empire. From the middle of the 17th century the coastal cities in the east of Somalia the Sultanate of Oman began to subordinate to itself. After transfer of the residence of Omani sultans to Zanzibar and the subsequent division of a sultanate into the African and Asian parts, east coast of Somalia departed to Zanzibar, and northern, to the Ottoman Empire. At the same time in internal parts of Somalia the set of local sultanates was formed.
Akinbane, Midgertini, Gelidi, Tunney and others, which kept under the control internal tradeways and fertile lands of uplands and river valleys, without recognizing the authorities of the Ottoman Empire and Zanzibar. In the 19th century in Somalia the internal wars between sultanates and tribes which were followed by resettlement of big groups of inhabitants, generally to the southern areas became frequent. At the beginning of the 19th century in Somalia different exercises of the Muslim currents and sects which were periodically declaring jihad to neighbors began to extend. In 1819 one of sects founded the theocratic state Bardera which began to be at war minding Jalidi, Tani Sultanates and Bara. In the middle of the 19th century Bardera was crushed by neighbors, but the centers of jihad remained. In the middle of the 19th century Zanzibar tried to strengthen the control over the cities of Somalia. In 1843, I captured Mogadishu, in 1862, the measure. However, these attempts weren't crowned with special success. Since 1869, Egypt began to occupy the ports of Somalia. However, by 1885, Egyptians left Somalia, without having sustained resistance of local governors. In 1884-1888 Great Britain, Italy and France divided among themselves all coast of Somalia. The southern part of Somalia, Nigertini and Abaya Sultanates, accepted protectorate of Italy. Also Germans applied for the southern regions of Somalia, but British of it didn't allow. The northern coast passed under the power of Britain and Djibouti to France. Some Somali tribes in internal regions of the country recognized the power of Ethiopia. Since 1899, the Muslim preacher said Mohammed Abdul Hassan, a longtime combated Italians and British under the slogans of jihad, exile of foreigners, and settlements of truly Islamic state. During World War I, Hassan counted on the help to the Ottoman Empire and Germany. It was succeeded to overcome Hassan only in 1920. In independent Somalia, he was considered as the national hero. Even the military academy of the country was called by his name. In the 1920th years, the Italian colonialists began to develop the system of plantation farm of the European type in Somalia. The fascist government of Mussolini allocated for it essential financial subsidies and also organized construction in Somalia of roads and irrigational constructions. The fascist authorities of Italy also encouraged resettlement of the Italian peasants in Somalia. During the same period the British colonialists were engaged in the part in Somalia mainly construction of roads, improvement of ports and export of skins. Generally goats. During World War II of Somalia it was integrated at first under the Italian flag, then under British. The future of colony caused a big controversy at the international level, and as a result was decided to provide her independence after a long transition period. In 1960 Somalia gained independence. Then formerly two former colonies, Italian Somalia and British Somalia. Somaliland. United. Aden Adbal Othman Dar became the first president. In September 1960, the Assar established diplomatic relations with Somalia. Six months later, the official state delegation went to Somalia. In 1961, the Soviet Union was visited by the Prime Minister of Somalia, Abdrashid Ali Shermark, as a part of small delegation. 
during the visit the agreement on economic and technical cooperation was signed. The contract provided rendering by the Soviet Union the help in development of agriculture and the food industry. Construction of a reservoir seaport. Carrying out geological and search works on tin and lead. While drilling on water. In December 1961 in the north of Somalia the group of officers tried to excite a rebellion against the central government and to restore independence of the state of Somaliland. However, this revolt was suppressed immediately. From 1963 to 1967 Somalia was supported by the insurgent movement of Somalis in Kenya. In 1969, as a result of a military coup, the General Mohammed Syed Barrett, who announced a course towards construction of socialism with Islamic specifics, came to the power. In 1970, 1977, Somalia received the significant Soviet military and economic assistance, and the Soviet fleet received in the order base in Berbera. The number of the Soviet experts working in the country to the middle of the 1,978 years was estimated at several thousands, and during hunger, after the most cruel drought of 1974, it was succeeded to avoid still the big victims only thanks to actions of the Soviet pilots who were carrying out transportation of a part of the nomadic population from affected areas. After finding of independence of Somalia made a territorial complaint to neighboring countries and territories, Kenya, Ethiopia and Djibouti. Then to the territory Afra Vanessa. And encouraged irredentistic aspirations of local communities of Somalis. Mohammed Syed Barrett in 1977 unexpectedly attacked the second Soviet ally in the region of the Horn of Africa, Ethiopia, having decided to use difficulties of the neighbor, pursuing policy of creation of Great Somalia and aiming to tear away the Ogaden area occupied by Ethiopia at the beginning of the 20th century and inhabited by the Somali tribes. As in both countries the governments of the pro-Soviet orientation were installed by then, the USA was forced to choose party of the conflict, and the Ethiopian leaders seemed to more reliable. As a result of war the Ethiopian army, using massive deliveries of the Soviet weapon and the Cuban volunteers, I beat an aggressor. In 1978 in Somalia the coup attempt by forces of Prosovetsky of the adjusted army officers took place, Abdullahi Yusuf Ahmed, from 2004 to 2008 the formal head of state also participated in it. The period after Ogadensky war is marked by a general crisis in economic and political spheres. In the 1988 years in the north of the country civil war began, and as a result of the continuing crisis in 1991 the President Mohammed Syed Barrett was overthrown, and the country was plunged into chaos. Not less than 60,000 people fled to only one Yemen. Somalia as the state was actually stopped by the existence, having lost all attributes of uniform statehood and having broken up to a set of the rags controlled by the field commanders conflicting among themselves. The northern part of the country declared the independence as the Republic Somaliland and remains rather stable. Some sources are inclined to estimate the current situation in the country as anarchy. In 1991-1992 owing to disorder of all social structures in Somalia the strongest hunger which claimed the lives of 300,000 people burst. In December 1992 within the operation Revival of Hope, the peacekeeping forces of the Union designed to protect employees of the organizations distributing humanitarian aid from actions of local field commanders were entered into the country. Operation was successful, 
However, forces of the Union allowed to involve themselves in the intra-Somali conflict and began to be attacked by fighters of one of applicants for a country's presidential post, the field commander Mohamed Adit. After several skirmishes between peacekeepers and fighters and in the conditions of escalation of the conflict on October 3, 1993, 18 American soldiers were killed in battle and two helicopters were shot down. Battle in Mogadishu 1993 In the USA these events were apprehended by the public as sign of retraction of America in the Somali Civil War because of what the President Clinton had to disengage the American troops from Somalia. In March 1995 the country was left also by divisions of the Union from other countries. After Ajid's death in 1996, the role of the leader passed to his son Hussein to Faridu Ajid. However, his fraction never anymore played a serious role in country life anymore. The conflict passed into a latent stage. Fighting collisions happened only for the economic reasons, such as section of income from the market of weapon or control of export of resources. Somalia turned into base of pirates of the Indian Ocean. Occupation of vessels and hostages became the frequent phenomenon. Pirates used boats from weapon, submachine guns and grenade launchers. In 2000 an attempt of association of the country win representatives of field commanders, having gathered in the city of Arta in Djibouti, elected the president of the graduate of the Soviet Higher Education Institution Abdul Qasim Salat Hassan was made. However, the field commanders enjoying support of Ethiopia refused to obey to him. In 2004, Ethiopia lobbied creation of alternative provisional government which was headed by Abdullahi Yusuf Ahmed. After creation of the transitional federal government in 2004, the transitional parliament held the first meeting in Baidobo at the beginning of 2006. At the time PFP controlled practically all territories, including southern microzones. By May 2006 in the south of Somalia interfractional fight, much bigger than for the last 10 years began. The Islamic Courts Union faced a light confederation of PFP. The transitional government enjoyed support of the Union, African Union and the USA. In the spring of 2006, Ab Mogadishu became the arena of fights between Islamists from the Islamic Courts Union and field commanders from Counter-Terrorist Alliance for Revival of the World. On June 5, 2006, the Islamic Courts Union established complete control over the capital. The crucial role in it was played by formations of the field commander of Indad. On September 24, the Islamic Courts Union without fight established control over the strategic port of Kismayo. In several months, the Islamic Courts Union was already controlled by seven of ten regions in the south of Somalia, including Mogadishu. They called it the period of unprecedented stability and huge success in fight against crime. Removal of posts, cleaning of garbage, opening arrow and seaports and also led emphasis on the wide judicial system to increase in safety and freedom. The developed mode got broad support, 95%, which it is noted for the first time from disintegration of Somalia in 1991 when ordinary citizens can safely walk the streets of Mogadishu. In response to expansion of influence of CIS Ethiopia, I increased military presence in Baidabo and partially in Bakula and Jado in support of vulnerable PFP. Is strongly objected and claimed that all foreign troops have to leave the country. Further negotiations promoted dialogue between PFP and CIS, 
but they failed in the second half of 2006. Thus, CIS and Ethiopia mobilized the troops. Expressed concern of rather uncontrollable arms traffic to the country in which dozens of the states breaking embargo on deliveries were involved in the report of the Union published in November 2006. At the same time there were fears that Somalia can become the arena of military operations between Ethiopia and Eritrea. Presence of foreign fighters is a part of this caused concern in the West. The policy of the USA for Somalia gained a certain character. The American officials claimed that management this is under control of Al-Qaeda, and it will be considered as the basis in order that the USA supported actions of Ethiopia. At the end of 2006 Ethiopia interfered with the conflict on the party of field commanders. The main Ethiopian military operation was developed on December 24 during which CIS suffered crushing defeat. Ethiopia broke military formations of the Islamic Courts Union and installed Yusuf Ahmad's government in Mogadishu. Having taken an opportunity, Ethiopia and PFP announced holding a peace conference in the last days of 2006, and at the same time occupied Mogadishu and other key objects. The one party urged the international community to develop immediately forces of the African Union. Oh. For support of PFPS on streets of Mogadishu, the armed criminals began to appear again, and as a result Islamic leaders promised to begin asymmetric war against Ethiopia and the transitional government in particular. Despite intervention of Ethiopia, the situation and remained intense, Ahmed's administration didn't control the most part of the country. On December 29, 2008, the president of Somalia, Abdullahi Yusuf Ahmad, resigned. On January 25, 2009, Ethiopia finished withdrawal of the troops from Somalia. Formations of Islamic group, Ash-Shabaab, took the most part of the capital of Somalia of Mogadishu under control. On January 31, 2009 at a session of Parliament of Somalia in Djibouti the leader of moderate Islamist Sheikh Sharif Sheikh Ahmad was elected the President of Somalia. On April 18, 2009 the Parliament of Somalia made the decision on introduction in the country of laws of Sharia. Adoption of this law in Parliament was expected since March 10 when the cabinet of the new President of the country Sheikh Sharif Ahmad voted for this decision. Experts assumed that this step of Ahmad will undermine positions of fighters which were covered with the ideas of Islam. Besides, it was expected that it will cause approval from potential sponsors in rich Gulf states. However, despite these measures, formations of Ash Shabaab kept the dominating positions in Somalia. Sharif Ahmed's government controlled some square kilometers of the capital, generally thanks to the inter-African peacekeeping forces consisting mostly of Ugandans and Burundians. This part of the capital is still constantly fired by Islamic insurgents. Islamists of Ash-Shabaab entered laws of Sharia in the territories controlled by them. The public tribuna of hands of the Somalis accused of thefts became an everyday occurrence. Insurgents financed the activity partially by illicit trade on border with Kenya, partially thanks to support of the sympathizing dealers and small businessmen. The international observers suspect a possibility of existence of contacts between Ash-Shabaab and Al-Qaeda. On October 31, 2010, Mohammed Abdullahi Mohammed, having dual Somali American citizenship, became the Prime Minister of Somalia. Against the background of the conflict between the President of the country Sharif Sheikh Ahmad and the head of the parliament Sharif Hassan Sheikh Aden on July 28, 
2011 Abdulwali Muhammad Ali, the graduate of Economics Department of Harvard, was appointed the new Prime Minister of Somalia. He set the task to create a new office from among the Somalis who got an education in the West, having urged them to return home for a restoration of the country after decades of civil war and civil strifes. So, appointment to the post of the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Somalia was received by the teacher of English from London, Mohamed Ibrahim. According to the Union, because of hunger in 2010-2012 in Somalia about 260,000 people died, and a half of them, children are younger than five years. The number of the victims exceeded an indicator of 1992 when 220,000 people died of hunger. Since 2012 the federal government consistently conducts negotiations as a result of which the autonomous federal states under control are allied to the federal government gradually receive registration. All territory of the country is divided into 18 provinces. Areas Administrative regions or provinces, Gabolka. Note The self-proclaimed Republic Somaliland considers the regions noted. Asterisk The territory For 2018 the territory is divided into six unrecognized states, apart from the government of Somalia and Islamic fighters in the region. The state of the central regions of Somalia is formed in 2014 as a result of association of Galmuduga, Haiman and Heba and also the area controlled by moderate Islamist group Tuakla Sunna Dama. Southwest by Somalia, it is formed in 2014 in the territory of regions by Bakel and the Lower Shabal. By Her Shabal, it is formed in 2016. Federal Government of Somalia Harakat al Shabaab, The Islamic State in Somalia Laws of Sharia, traditional feature of the Somali society. During the colonial period and also after independence finding, Sharia was officially recognized by the Somali state. According to the Somali constitution, Sharia was a basis for all national acts. Nevertheless in practice Sharia always was within a formal justice system of courts of first instance, and was applied only to consideration of civil cases, including on questions. Families, marriage, divorce and inheritance. Since the beginning of the 1998 years the form of laws of Sharia appeared new, more rigid. For lack of the centralized board and presence of various Somali leaders. Rebels, businessmen, elders of clans and Islamists. Sharia courts, already as a basis of justice of the state, with the purpose to improve a situation with safety on places were created. Three functions are assigned to new courts of Sharia in Somalia. First under their aegis the militia, which watches safety and catches criminals. Works. Secondly, they pass judgments and definitions on civil and criminal cases. Thirdly, they bear maintenance responsibility under guards of convicts. Motives of various Somali leaders in creation of Sharia vessels. First, conditions for residents in the country improved, respectively rebels began to enjoy bigger popularity in the people. Secondly, thanks to existence of vessels the number of the conflicts between representatives of clans decreased, they began to solve conflict situations in Sharia court, but not by force of arms. Thirdly, courts created safe conditions for the Somali businessmen who can be engaged in business and not worry that they will be attacked by rebels and bandits.
population minus 12,316,895 people. Assessment for 2014. About 85% of the population, various tribes with the general self-name, Somalia, belong to the Ethiopian. East African. Race. Languages belong to group of Kushitsky languages of Afrasian macrofamily. Writing of the Somalia language is created in 1973 on the basis of the Latin alphabet. According to UNESCO, in 1980 the level of literacy was 6.1%. Despite relative monoanicity, problems of integrity and political life of the country substantially are defined by tribalism remnants among the population. The main tribes six, Deer, Isaac, Ehevia and the first four tribes, nomads cattle farmers, two others settled farmers. Nomad tribes consider themselves descendants of the ancestor of Somali Somal. Tribes in Asak rigidly challenge superiority. At the time of the beginning of civil war of 26% of the population of the country made to Ahavia, 23% Asak, 21%, 21% together digit and 7% deer. Each tribe is in turn subdivided into the clans which are often consisting in hostility with each other. According to data of Thomson Reuters Foundation which published the rating of the countries of the world most dangerous to women in January 2019, Somalia takes the fourth position in the list of the states with the greatest number of risks for the women in respect of health care, access to economic resources, usual life, human trafficking. The largest cities administrative unit population Mogadishu Benadir Card Hargisa Voki Galba Card Osasa Bari Card Ilkeo Mudig Card Warama Avdal Card Berber Voki Galba 232,500 Narkanizni Ayashabel 230,100 Tugdu Amama Lower Jabba 224,700 Kismayo Lower Jabba 183,300 Bay Dabba Bay 157,500 Burjo Tagda 120,400 Afgai Nizni Ayashabel 79400 Buled Vain Hiran 67200 Karulian Nizni Ayashabel 62700 Guru Nugal 57300 Zakr Shradnaya Shabal 57100 Wardera Zeda 51300 Kobari 47400 Aragaba Sanag 41000 Laub Jada 41000 Religion Sunni Muslims Following the results of a research of the International Charitable Christian Organization, Open Doors, for 2019, Somalia takes the third place in the list of the countries where most often oppress the rights of Christians. In 2015 the country was on the second place in this list. According to CIA and the Central Bank of Somalia, despite civil disorders, in Somalia the stable informal economy based generally on livestock production, money transfers of the companies and telecommunications and providing the minimum extent of welfare of the population is supported. Because of a lack of official statistical data of the government and recent civil war it is difficult to estimate the size and growth of economy. In 1994 CIA estimated DDD of the country at $3.3 billion. In 2001 it was estimated already at $4.1 billion. 
In 2009 CIA was counted the DDD grew $2.5.731 billion, and the predicted real growth rate was estimated at 2.6%. According to the report of the British Chamber Ministries of Trade in 2007, the private sector, especially in services sector, also grew. Unlike the pre-war period when the majority of services and the industrial sector were under the administration of the state, considerable, though immeasurable, private investments into commercial activity are noted. It is substantially financed by the Somali diaspora and includes trade and marketing, services of money transfer, transport, communication, the equipment for fishery, airline, telecommunication, education, healthcare, construction and hotel business. The economist libertarian Peter Lisson explains it with the increased economic activity of traditional and private legislative rules of Somalia. Called as year which provide the stable environment for business. According to data of the Central Bank of Somalia DDD of the country on the person in 2012 was dollar $226. In significant decrease in real terms since 1991. About 43% of the population live less than for one US dollar a day. From them 24% live in the city area and 54% in rural areas. The country depends on the international financial aid. In 2019 the European Commission allocated more than Euro 50 million for a fight against consequences of a catastrophic drought near the Horn of Africa. From these means of Somalia will receive Euro 25 million, Ethiopia Euro 20 million, Kenya, Euro 3 million, Uganda, Euro 2 million. As well as in neighboring countries, the economy of Somalia includes both traditional and modern productions. With gradual transition to advantage of modern industrial technologies. According to the Central Bank of Somalia, about 80% of the population of nomadic or semi-nomadic cattle farmers hold goats, sheep, camels and cattle. Nomads also collect pitches and gum for replenishment of the income. Agriculture is the most important sector of economy. About 65% of DDD fall to his share and 65% of the population are busy. The livestock production gives about 40% of DDD and more than 50% of income from export. Other main articles of export are fish, coal and bananas. Sugar, a sorghum and corn is produced for domestic market. The industrial sector founded on processing of agricultural products makes 10% of DDD of Somalia. Prior to civil war in 1991 there were about 53 states small, average and large manufacturing firms, after the conflict many of the remained industries were destroyed. However, first of all, as a result of significant local investments of the Somali diaspora, many of these small plants were open and restored again. The fish canning and meat processing enterprises in northern regions and also about 25 plants near Mogadishu which produce pasta, mineral waters, confectionery, plastic bags, fabric, leather and skins, detergents and soap, aluminum, mattresses and pillows, fishing boats, packing of goods and processing of a stone treat the last. In 2004 Coca-Cola opened the pouring plant, having invested by means of the Somali investors construction for $8.3 million. Foreign investments bring also multinational corporations, such as General Motors and Dole Fruit. The reserves on the shelf of Somalia are estimated around 110 billion barrels. In 1988 the Shell and ExxonMobil oil companies agreed with the Somali authorities about allocation of concessions by Imon extraction of hydrocarbons and shallow water of the shelf.
At the end of 2016 the authorities of Somalia announced plans to hold the tender for exploration and production of hydrocarbons on the shelf. In the territory of more or less stable Puntland development of reserves of oil has already begun. Also there are data on existence in the country of deposits of uranium, iron ore, copper and precious metals. Part production about 300 million due. Part 2014. According to the Foreign Trade Reference Book of OEC in 2017, the volume of export was only $198 million and import minus $2.23 billion. Nearly 2 3 exports were made by the lift cattle. Here's sheep and goats. About 11% seafood, including not cut fish. For the rest it is aromatic and fossil pitches and products of livestock production. Skins the wool carried. In structure of import food prevails. Up to 50% of the total cost. Mainly it is sugar, rice, palm oil, grain processing products, etc. Also oil products, 3.6%, clothes, 8.3%, footwear, 4%, medicines, 2.4%, and various industrial goods are imported. In 2017 Oman, China, Japan, France and Bulgaria, on export were the main trade partners. China, India, Oman, Kenya and Turkey on import. With the advantage that Somalia is near Arabian Peninsula, the Somali dealers even more often begin to compete with traditional domination of Australia over meat to the markets of the Persian Gulf, offering meat at very low prices. In reply, the Arab states of the Gulf began to make strategic investments into the country. So Saudi Arabia builds farms for export infrastructure, and the United Arab Emirates get huge agricultural grounds. There is an inflow of investments, generally from the EU, to cultivation of vegetables and fruit. Peaches, nectarines, plum, sweet cherry, cherry, mango, a citrus, tapioca, bananas, potatoes, tomatoes, cucumbers, pepper, a fig and other vegetables and fruit are cultivated. Actively there are landings of apple trees and pairs of tall grades on dwarfish stocks of high density. Somalia is also the main world supplier of an incense and we are quiet. In Somalia 14 private airlines which have 62 planes work, now offer also commercial flights abroad. At the competitive price of tickets these companies help to support brisk retail chain stores of Somalia. In 2008 the government of Puntland was signed by the multi-million contract with Dubai Luta Group, regional industrial group working at the Middle East and in Africa. According to the agreement, at the first stage investments of 170 million dirhams are given and finally emergence of a set of the new companies in the economic zone Busasa is expected. The company also plans development of Avia complex in Busasa according to the international standards, including construction of new 3.4 km of a runway, the main and auxiliary buildings, the taxi, the platform and protection of perimeters. In the country there are 66,53,000 cell phones as of 2017. As of 2013 only 1.38% of the population had internet connection. Most of the population of Somalia cattle farmers nomads. The main value for them, the camel symbolizing wealth. The Somali having 10 camels and also 100 goats and sheep is considered prosperous. 
but really, rich Somalis have from 100 to 1000 camels. Nomads live in temporary settlements, building folding dwellings of type of Yotus from camel skins, Ocala minus 1.5, 2m high and with a diameter of 3, 5m. Around these dwellings construct a fencing from cactuses and a prickly acacia, doing thus the shelter for the cattle. Settled Somalis Farmers and fishermen Build in the villages of a cylindrical form of the hut, with adobe walls and a straw roof. Sizes of these huts same as yurtas of nomads. But in large villages Somalis build also rectangular dwellings, up to 8 by 15 m in size, with the same adobe walls, but with a roof from palm leaves. On holidays Somalis arrange Massachusetts dances with singing. Accompany cottons and palms, foot tapping, knock of wooden plates. In larger settlements dance also under sounds of a tambourine and drums and also under the sounds elicited by blasting in seashells. The usual reason for a holiday, the son's birth, a female camel issue and also receiving some income. The national clothes of male Somalis consist of a loincloth and a long piece of fabric falling from a shoulder on diagonal through a breast, usually of a cloth of the local production painted in white, orange or blue collar, foot. Still the shoulder cape with which during bad weather cover the head is sometimes put on. A dress of the Somali female, a piece of fabric 10, 15 m long which part turns back around hips and drape with the rest the top part of a trunk, but leaving one shoulder naked. Men's and women's shoes, sandals. Besides, many Somalis carry on a neck leather medallions with quotes from the Quran. The main food of nomads cattle farmers, camel milk. Fresh and sour. Sheep and goat cheese, sometimes meat and porridges. Settled Somalis eat generally porridges, flat cakes and sometimes milk. The vast majority of Somalis categorically don't eat fish in a bird and also balls, these products are considered in Somalia as dirty. The cuisine of Somalia changes from area to area and she covers various styles of cookery. The obligatory principle which unites the Somali food is halal. In it completely there are no pork dishes, alcoholic beverages, dishes containing blood, preparation of meat of the dead of animals is forbidden. Somalis serve dinner at 9 o'clock in the evening, during Ramadan, often after a prayer, Taravi, at 11 o'clock in the evening. Schools of studying of the Quran. Madrasa. The main institute of religious training. This institute allows to get an education to the children living in the wandering families and also girls. The research of UNICEF of 1993 found out that unlike elementary schools where gender inequality is huge, about 40% of pupils of madrasa make girls, but qualification of teachers is minimum or teachers are unskilled at all. My results of a research the new ministry was created and activity of madrasa began to be controlled at the state level. The State Broadcasting Company, SB. Somali Broadcasting Corporation, Somali Broadcasting Corporation Includes the TV channel of the same name and regional radio stations. The national team of Somalia participates in the World Ice Hockey Championships with a ball. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.